Hey there, adventurers, and welcome to another thrilling episode of Generative History. I'm your host, Alex Integris, and I've got to tell you, today's episode is one that's close to my heart. We're diving into a world filled with dungeons, dragons, and a whole lot of heart containers. That's right, grab your master sword and polish your Hylian shield, because we're setting off on a journey through the mystical lands of the Legend of Zelda. You know, I still remember the first time I set foot in Hyrule. It was like stepping into a whole new universe, one filled with wonder, excitement, and a fair share of frustration. But more than anything, it was a world that captured my imagination and never let go. So whether you're a seasoned hero of time or just a curious traveler, buckle up. We're about to explore the rich history, the unforgettable characters, and the magical experiences that have made The Legend of Zelda a legend in its own right. Ready? Let's get started. The Legend of Zelda. Where do we even begin with a series that's as legendary as its name suggests? It's not just a collection of games, it's a tapestry of stories, a symphony of pixels and music, and a treasure trove of memories for gamers all around the world. First released in 1986, The Legend of Zelda took the gaming world by storm. It was like nothing else out there. An open world filled with secrets, puzzles, and challenges. Check. A heroic quest with a silent protagonist who lets his sword do the talking. Double check. And let's not forget about the princess. Ah, Princess Zelda, the namesake of the series and the eternal damsel in distress. But what truly sets the legend of Zelda apart is its impact on the gaming landscape. It didn't just define the action-adventure genre, it redefined what video games could be. It showed us that games could tell epic tales, take us on grand adventures, and challenge our minds, all while tugging at our heartstrings. And the cultural significance. Oh boy, where to start? From inspiring countless fan creations, cosplay, and even symphony concerts, to influencing game design across various genres, The Legend of Zelda has left an indelible mark on pop culture. It's transcended the boundaries of gaming to become a part of our collective consciousness. I mean, who hasn't hummed the theme of Zelda's lullaby while doing the dishes or daydreamed about exploring the lost woods? I know I have, and I bet many of you have, too. So here's to The Legend of Zelda, a series that's not just about saving the princess or defeating the evil Ganon. It's about exploration, discovery, and the timeless joy of adventure. It's a series that continues to enchant, inspire, and, yes, frustrate players of all ages. And the best part, the legend is far from over. With new games, new stories, and new adventures on the horizon, the world of Hyrule continues to beckon, inviting us to embark on yet another unforgettable journey. Now, dear listeners, as we embark on this quest through the lands of Hyrule, we've got quite the itinerary planned. Our journey will take us through the many facets of The Legend of Zelda that have made it the beloved series it is today. First up, we'll delve into the rich and often complex lore of the series. From the sacred Triforce to the recurring battle between good and evil, the mythology of Zelda is a tapestry woven with care and creativity. Ever wondered about the timeline or the connections between the games? We'll unravel those mysteries together. Next, we'll take a tour of the games themselves. From the 8-bit charm of the original to the breathtaking open world of Breath of the Wild, we'll explore how the series has evolved, innovated, and occasionally stumbled along the way. And yes, we'll talk about those spin-offs too. Tingle, anyone. But what's a legend without a little behind-the-scenes magic? We'll pull back the curtain on the development processes, the challenges, and the triumphs that have shaped the series. Ever wondered how a dungeon is designed or how a soundtrack is composed? We'll get into the nitty-gritty. Of course, no journey is without its drama, and The Legend of Zelda has had its share. We'll discuss controversies, fan reactions, and those moments that made us go, wait, what? It's all part of the rich tapestry that makes up this legendary series. And finally, we'll explore the cultural impact of Zelda. From influencing other games to inspiring art, music, and even fashion, the reach of Zelda goes far beyond the console. It's a phenomenon, a part of our shared cultural heritage, and a testament to the power of storytelling. So grab your ocarina, dust off your compass, and make sure you've got plenty of potions. We're about to set off on an adventure that's as epic, enchanting, and enduring as the legend of Zelda itself. Ready to explore? Let's go! In the mid-1980s, a young game designer named Shijiro Miyamoto found himself captivated by the idea of exploration and adventure. Inspired by his childhood memories of exploring the countryside around his home in Kyoto, Japan, he envisioned a game that would capture the essence of discovery, curiosity, and the thrill of the unknown. Enter the Legend of Zelda. Released in 1986 for the Nintendo Entertainment System, it was a game that broke the mold. Unlike the linear, stage-by-stage -stage progression of most games at the time, Zelda offered an open world, filled with secrets, puzzles, and hidden pathways. Players were given the freedom to explore, to experiment, and to find their own way through the land of Hyrule. 
The game's protagonist, a young hero named Link, was a blank slate, a character through whom players could live out their own adventures. Armed with a sword, a shield, and a burning desire to rescue Princess Zelda, players were set loose in a world that beckoned them to explore every nook and cranny. But what truly set the legend of Zelda apart was its sense of wonder. There were no set instructions, no clear paths to follow. It was a game that encouraged players to think, to question, and to find their own solutions. Whether it was figuring out how to defeat a tricky enemy or discovering a hidden cave behind a waterfall, the game rewarded curiosity and ingenuity. And let's not forget the iconic opening scene. Who could resist the allure of that mysterious old man in a cave, handing over a sword with the immortal words, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It was an invitation, a challenge, and a promise of adventure all rolled into one. The inception of The Legend of Zelda was a watershed moment in gaming history. It was a game that dared to be different, that challenged conventions, and that opened up new possibilities for storytelling and gameplay. It was, in many ways, a love letter to the spirit of adventure, a game that captured the hearts of players and set the stage for a series that would become a legend in its own right. In creating The Legend of Zelda, Shigeru Miyamoto didn't just make a game, he crafted a world, a mythology, and a legacy that continues to inspire to this day. It was the birth of a legend, and it all started with a simple desire to explore. What a way to begin a journey, don't you think? Shigeru Miyamoto's inspiration for The Legend of Zelda is a story that's as enchanting as the game itself. Growing up in the rural town of Sanob, Japan, young Miyamoto was a curious and adventurous child. He would often wander the hills, forests, and caves near his home, exploring the natural world with a sense of wonder and excitement. These childhood adventures would later become the spark that ignited the creation of The Legend of Zelda. Miyamoto wanted to recreate that feeling of exploration and discovery, that thrill of stumbling upon something hidden and magical. He wanted players to feel like they were embarking on a grand adventure, just as he had done as a child. The development of the first Zelda game was a bold and ambitious undertaking. At the time, most games were straightforward and linear, guiding players through a set path with clear objectives. But Miyamoto and his team at Nintendo had something different in mind. They wanted to create a game that was open-ended, where players could choose their own path and make their own discoveries. This was no small feat, especially considering the technical limitations of the NES. Creating an open world with multiple paths, secrets, and puzzles required innovative design and careful planning. The team had to think outside the box, coming up with new ways to guide players without holding their hands. One of the key innovations was the use of a battery-backed save system, allowing players to save their progress and continue their adventure later. This was a game-changer, allowing for a more complex and expansive game world. The game's design was also groundbreaking. From the non-linear structure to the integration of puzzles and combat, The Legend of Zelda set a new standard for what video games could be. It was a game that required thought, strategy, and creativity, not just quick reflexes. And let's not forget the iconic music. Composed by Koji Kondo, the game's soundtrack became an instant classic, with melodies that are still beloved today. Who can hear the overworld theme without feeling a surge of nostalgia and adventure? The development of The Legend of Zelda was a labor of love, a collaboration between visionary designers, artists, and musicians. It was a game that pushed boundaries, that challenged players, and that created a new genre of gaming. But more than anything, it was a game that captured the essence of exploration, the joy of discovery, and the timeless appeal of a good old-fashioned adventure. It was a game inspired by a child's curiosity and a game that, in turn, inspired countless others to embark on their own adventures. In the words of Miyamoto himself, I wanted players to feel like they were the main character in a movie. And oh, what a movie it was. A movie that we, as players, could write, direct, and star in, all from the comfort of our living rooms. Now that's the magic of gaming, and that's the magic of The Legend of Zelda. The characters of The Legend of Zelda are as iconic as the series itself. Link, Zelda, and Ganon form a triumvirate that has endured through generations of gaming, each playing a vital role in the unfolding legend. The hero of the tale, Link, is a character that resonates with players for his courage, determination, and silent strength. Clad in his signature green tunic and cap, Link is the embodiment of the Everman hero, a character through whom players can live out their own adventures. He's not a prince or a chosen one, he's just a young boy with a big heart and a bigger sword. His silence allows players to project themselves onto him, making his journey their journey. And what a journey it's been, through time, across worlds, and into the very heart of what it means to be a hero. Princess Zelda is more than just a damsel in distress. She's a character of grace, wisdom, and power. Over the years, she's taken on many roles, from a guiding oracle to a warrior princess. She's been both a victim and a hero, a character who evolves and grows with each new game. Her relationship with Link is complex and multifaceted, a partnership that goes beyond mere romance. She's a symbol of hope, a beacon of light in the dark world of Hyrule, and a character who continues to inspire. Ah, Ganon, the dark force that looms over the land of Hyrule. 
He's the embodiment of evil, a character driven by power, greed, and a relentless desire to conquer. Whether appearing as the monstrous Ganon or the more human Ganondorf, he's a villain that's both terrifying and fascinating. His motives are often as complex as his methods, making him a character that's more than just a one-dimensional baddie. He's a force to be reckoned with, a character that challenges both Link and the player, and a reminder that even in a world filled with magic and wonder, darkness lurks. These three characters form the core of The Legend of Zelda, a trio that represents the eternal struggle between good and evil, light and darkness, hero and villain. They're characters that have become part of our cultural lexicon, symbols of a series that has touched the hearts and minds of players around the world. But beyond their iconic status, they're characters that feel real. They have depth, nuance, and a timeless quality that makes them as relevant today as they were over three decades ago. They're characters that invite us to explore, to fight, to dream, and to become part of a legend that continues to unfold. Link, Zelda, and Ganon, the characters that started it all and the characters that keep us coming back for more. Whether you're a hero, a princess, or even a villain, in the world of The Legend of Zelda, there's a place for us all. And that, dear adventurers, is the true magic of this legendary series. The release of The Legend of Zelda in 1986 was met with critical acclaim and commercial success, quickly becoming a defining title for the NES. But its impact extended far beyond sales figures and glowing reviews, it fundamentally changed the landscape of action-adventure games and left an indelible mark on the industry. From the outset, the Legend of Zelda was hailed for its innovative gameplay and non-linear structure. It was a game that broke away from the rigid, stage-by-stage -stage progression of its contemporaries, offering players an open world to explore at their own pace. This freedom of exploration, coupled with intricate puzzles, challenging combat, and a rich narrative, set a new standard for what action-adventure games could be. The game's influence can be seen in countless titles that followed. The idea of an interconnected world filled with secrets, side quests, and multiple paths became a staple of the genre. The integration of RPG elements, such as character progression and inventory management, added depth and complexity to the gameplay. The emphasis on storytelling and world-building laid the groundwork for immersive, narrative-driven experiences. But perhaps one of the most enduring legacies of The Legend of Zelda is the way it engaged players' curiosity and creativity. It was a game that encouraged experimentation, that rewarded thinking outside the box, and that challenged players to approach problems from different angles. This emphasis on player agency and problem-solving continues to resonate with game designers and players alike, influencing everything from puzzle design to player choice. The game's reception was not just limited to the gaming community. It transcended the medium, becoming a cultural phenomenon. The iconic imagery, the memorable music, and the timeless characters became part of the broader pop culture landscape. From references in movies and television to merchandise and fan art, The Legend of Zelda became more than just a game, it became a symbol of a generation. And let's not forget the impact on future Zelda titles. The success of the first game laid the foundation for a series that continues to innovate, evolve, and inspire. Each new entry builds on the legacy of the original, pushing the boundaries of what an action-adventure game can be. In reflecting on the game's reception and influence, it's clear that The Legend of Zelda was more than just a hit, it was a revolution. It challenged conventions, it inspired creativity, and it opened up new possibilities for gaming. It was a game that captured the imagination of players around the world and a game that continues to inspire to this day. The Legend of Zelda was a game that dared to be different and a game that literally changed the gaming game. Whether you played it on the NES, the Game Boy, or even on a modern console, it's a game that continues to resonate, to challenge, and to enchant. And that, dear listeners, is the true legacy of a legend. The Legend of Zelda series has been a cornerstone of the gaming world, and its journey from the inception to the latest installment, Tears of the Kingdom, is a tale filled with innovation, creativity, and a touch of magic. Starting with the original The Legend of Zelda, released in 1986, the series introduced players to the land of Hyrule and its courageous hero, Link. This game set the stage for a franchise that would captivate audiences for generations. In 1987, Zelda II, The Adventure of Link brought a new side-scrolling perspective, adding depth to the gameplay. The series continued to evolve with A Link to the Past in 1991, which expanded the lore and introduced the concept of parallel worlds. The 1998 release of Ocarina of Time marked a significant turning point, transitioning the series into 3D and offering a more immersive experience. Its time travel mechanics and memorable characters left an indelible mark on the gaming landscape. Majora's Mask followed in 2000, with a darker tone and a time-restricted gameplay that challenged players in new ways. 
The Wind Waker in 2002 brought a cel-shaded art style and vast seas to explore, while Twilight Princess in 2006 returned to a more traditional look. With a gripping story and innovative controls, the series continued to push boundaries with Skyward Sword in 2011, utilizing motion controls to bring swordplay to life. Breath of the Wild, released in 2017, revolutionized open-world gaming, allowing players to explore Hyrule with unprecedented freedom. And now, the latest addition to the mainline series, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, released on May 12, 2023, takes players on an epic adventure across the land and skies of Hyrule. This sequel to Breath of the Wild brings abilities like Ultra Hand, Fuse, and Ascend, transforming the way players interact with the world. Link's journey to uncover the origins of a mysterious gloom plaguing the kingdom is filled with surprises, challenges, and the joy of discovery. From the magical landscapes to the inventive gameplay mechanics, each installment in the series has contributed something unique, building on the legacy of its predecessors. The Legend of Zelda has not only shaped the action-adventure genre but has also become a symbol of creativity and excellence in the gaming industry. With Tears of the Kingdom, the series continues to inspire and enchant, proving that the legend is very much alive and well. Whether you're a veteran fan or a newcomer to the series, there's always something magical waiting to be discovered in the land of Hyrule. So grab your sword and shield, and let's embark on this timeless adventure together. Let's examine the evolution of the Legend of Zelda series. It's like watching a child grow up, isn't it? Each game is a milestone, a new chapter in a story that keeps getting richer and more complex. Let's start with the gameplay mechanics. Remember the first time you picked up that sword in the original game. It was simple, yet satisfying. Fast forward to Ocarina of Time, and suddenly you were locking onto enemies, rolling around, and playing tunes on an ocarina. It felt like a whole new world. And then came the Wind Waker, with its vast seas and sailing mechanics. Who knew that controlling the wind could be so much fun? Or how about Skyward Sword, where swinging your controller became swinging your sword? It was like stepping into Link's boots. But the real game changer was Breath of the Wild. Climbing, gliding, cooking, the game gave you the freedom to explore and interact with the world like never before. And Tears of the Kingdom took it even further, adding new abilities and transforming the way we play. Now, let's talk graphics. From the pixelated charm of the early games to the breathtaking realism of the latest installments, the series has never been afraid to experiment with visual styles. Remember the first time you saw the Wind Waker's cel-shaded art? It was like a cartoon come to life. And who can forget the dark, moody atmosphere of Twilight Princess? Or the sheer beauty of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom? It's like watching a painting come to life, with every leaf, every ripple of water, and every gust of wind crafted with love and attention to detail. But what truly sets The Legend of Zelda apart is its storytelling. It's not just about rescuing the princess, it's about the journey, the exploration, and the characters you meet along the way. The emotional depth of Majora's Mask, the epic tale of Ocarina of Time, the rich lore and interconnected timelines, each game tells a story that sticks with you. And let's not forget the music, those melodies that tug at your heartstrings and transport you to another world. You know, playing a Zelda game is like reading a good book, you get lost in it. You become part of the story, part of the adventure. And that's the magic of The Legend of Zelda. So here's to the series that has shaped our gaming experiences, that has challenged us, inspired us, and given us countless hours of joy. Here's to the legend that continues to grow, to evolve, and to enchant. Here's to the Legend of Zelda. Now, grab your sword and shield, and let's keep exploring. The Legend of Zelda series isn't just about the mainline games. There's a whole universe of spin-offs and collaborations that have brought the magic of Hyrule to new genres and platforms. Take Hyrule Warriors, for example. It's a hack-and-slash adventure that combines the world of Zelda with the gameplay of Dynasty Warriors. You get to play as various characters from the series, each with unique abilities, battling hordes of enemies. It's like a Zelda-themed party, and everyone's invited. Then there's Link's crossbow training. Remember that one? It came bundled with the Wii Zapper, turning your Wii remote into a crossbow. It was a fun little diversion, a chance to test your aim and reflexes in a series of shooting challenges. And who could forget the collaboration with Super Smash Bros., Link, Zelda, Ganon, and other characters have been duking it out with Mario, Pikachu, and the rest of the gang for years. It's like a crossover event of epic proportions, a celebration of gaming's greatest icons. But one of my personal favorites has to be Cadence of Hyrule. It's a rhythm-based game that fuses the gameplay of Crypt of the Necro Dancer with the music and world of Zelda. You move, attack, and explore to the beat of remixed Zelda tunes. It's a dance party in Hyrule, and it's as fun as it sounds. These spin-offs and collaborations show the versatility of the Legend of Zelda series. They take the characters, the music, and the lore we love and present them in new and exciting ways. It's like seeing an old friend in a new light, discovering aspects you never knew existed. And that's the beauty of the Legend of Zelda universe. It's not confined to one genre or one style. 
It's a living, breathing world that continues to grow, to explore new horizons, and to surprise us. So whether you're slashing through enemies in Hyrule Warriors, aiming for bullseyes and Link's crossbow training, or dancing to the beat and cadence of Hyrule, remember to enjoy the journey. Because in the world of Zelda, every game is an adventure, every collaboration a new path to explore. And who knows what's around the corner? The legend continues, and we're all part of it. When you think about the legend of Zelda, certain things immediately come to mind. Dungeons that challenge your wit, items that become your trusted companions, and moments that take your breath away. Let's reminisce about some of these unforgettable highlights. Dungeons in Zelda are like intricate puzzles waiting to be solved. Who could forget the water temple in Ocarina of Time? It was a maze of water levels and hidden paths that had many of us scratching our heads. Or the Tower of the Gods in the Wind Waker, rising majestically from the sea, filled with trials and ancient secrets. And then there are the Divine Beasts and Breath of the Wild, mechanical marvels that were part dungeon, part living creature. Each one was a unique adventure, a test of skill and ingenuity. But what's a hero without his tools? The Master Sword, that legendary blade that's been with us since the beginning. It's not just a weapon, it's a symbol of courage, a beacon of hope. And the hookshot, a nifty gadget that let you swing across gaps and reach new heights. It made you feel like a swashbuckling adventurer. And who could forget the ocarina? It was more than an item, it was a musical friend that opened doors, summoned storms, and even traveled through time. These items were more than tools, they were part of the journey, part of the legend. And then there are those moments, those snapshots in time that stay with you. The moment you pulled the master sword in ocarina of time and suddenly, you were no longer a boy but a hero. The first time you set sail in the wind waker, the wind in your hair, the endless sea before you. Or that leap of faith in breath of the wild, gliding off the plateau into a world full of possibilities. These were not just moments in a game, they were experiences, milestones in a journey that we all shared. You know, playing the Legend of Zelda is like walking through a gallery of memories. Each dungeon, each item, each moment is a painting, a piece of art that tells a story. And we, the players, are the wanderers, the explorers, the dreamers who get to live these stories. So let's pay respects to the dungeons that puzzled us, the items that aided us, and the moments that moved us. The Legend of Zelda is a series that continues to create magic, one adventure at a time. And the best part, the journey is far from over. The legend continues, and we're all invited to be part of it. Let's keep exploring, shall we? The Legend of Zelda series isn't just about swinging swords and exploring dungeons. It's a tapestry of rich lore and mythology that has been woven over decades, creating a world that's as immersive as it is enchanting. Let's start with the land itself, Hyrule. It's a kingdom filled with diverse landscapes, from the arid Gerudo Desert to the lush Kakiri Forest. Each region has its own culture, its own history, and its own secrets. And at the heart of it all lies the Sacred Realm, a mythical place that holds the all-powerful Triforce. The Triforce, now that's a tale in itself. It's a relic that embodies the virtues of power, wisdom, and courage. It's been the object of desire for both heroes and villains, a symbol of the balance that governs the world. The one who holds the Triforce can shape reality, and so it's been protected, coveted, and fought over through the ages. But what's a legend without its characters? The people of Hyrule are as diverse as the land itself. There are the wise and mysterious Sheikah, the proud and noble Gerudo, the industrious Gorons, and the playful Zoras. Each race has its own traditions, its own role in the grand tapestry of Hyrule. And then there's the eternal triangle of Link, Zelda, and Gaon. A hero, a princess, and a villain, their destinies intertwined in a dance that transcends time and space. Link, the courageous hero, always rising to the call of destiny. Zelda, the wise and graceful princess, a beacon of hope and strength. And Ganon, the embodiment of power and ambition, a dark force that seeks to reshape the world in his image. Their stories have been told and retold, each game a new chapter, a new interpretation of the myth. Sometimes they're reincarnations, sometimes they're echoes of each other, but always, they're part of a greater narrative, a cosmic play where they are both actors and spectators. And let's not forget the smaller tales, the side quests, and the characters that populate the world. A lost ghost seeking solace, a cursed family longing for redemption, a village trapped in an eternal winter. These stories add depth and color to the world, turning it into a living, breathing place. The lore of the Legend of Zelda is a treasure trove of myths and legends, a rich soil from which countless adventures have sprouted. It's a world that invites you to lose yourself in, to become part of the legend. It's not just about defeating the bad guy and saving the princess. It's about the journey, the discovery, the stories that unfold along the way. It's about the connections you make, the choices you face, the hero you become. That's the magic of The Legend of Zelda. It's a series that doesn't just tell you a story, it lets you live it. 
It's a world that's waiting to be explored, a legend that's waiting to be lived. And every time you step into Hyrule, you're not just playing a game, you're stepping into a myth, a fairy tale, a dream. So grab your sword, put on your green hat, and let's explore the lore of Hyrule together. The legend is calling, an adventure awaits. The timeline of The Legend of Zelda is a fascinating subject, and it's one that sparked many debates among fans. It's like a puzzle with pieces that fit together in different ways, depending on how you look at it. Imagine sitting down with a cup of tea and a map of Hyrule, trying to trace the journey of our hero, Link. You start with the first game, and then you realize that the path isn't a straight line. It's a web, a maze, a series of twists and turns that take you through different worlds and different times. The key to this maze is Ocarina of Time. That's where things get really interesting. Depending on the outcome of that game, the timeline splits into three branches. It's like standing at a crossroads and choosing a path, except each path leads to a whole new adventure. In one branch, Link is defeated and we see a world in decline. In another, he's sent back to his childhood and the future is changed. And in the third, he leaves behind a world that must face the consequences of his battle with Ganon. And then there's Breath of the Wild, a game that seems to exist outside the traditional timeline. It's like a tapestry that weaves together threads from all the different paths, creating a new pattern, a new story. What's amazing about this timeline is that it's not just a chronological order of events. It's a storytelling tool. It allows the creators to explore different themes, to tell different stories with the same characters. It's like a set of building blocks that can be arranged in endless ways to create new worlds, new legends. Some fans love to dive into the details, to analyze the connections and debate the theories. Others prefer to enjoy each game as a separate adventure, a unique experience. And that's the beauty of it. The timeline is a playground for the imagination, a space where anything is possible. So next time you pick up your controller and step into the world of Hyrule, remember that you're not just playing a game. You're exploring a universe, a multiverse, a world that's rich and complex and full of surprises. You're part of a legend that's always growing, always evolving, always inviting you to discover something new. The timeline of The Legend of Zelda is a journey through time and space, a dance of destiny and adventure. It's a story that's as complex and as simple as you want it to be, a story that's waiting for you to write your own chapter. So grab your sword and shield, and let's explore the lore of Hyrule together. The legend is calling, and the adventure is just beginning. The world of The Legend of Zelda is filled with recurring themes, symbols, and motifs that resonate throughout the series. It's like a melody that plays in different keys, a pattern that repeats with variations, creating a harmony that ties everything together. Let's start with the Triforce, that iconic symbol made of three golden triangles. It represents power, wisdom, and courage, the three virtues that define the characters and the story. You see it everywhere, from the design of the games to the plot itself. It's a symbol of balance, of unity, of the eternal struggle between good and evil. Then there's the Master Sword, the Blade of Evil's Bane. It's not just a weapon, it's a symbol of destiny, of heroism, of the eternal battle against darkness. Every time Link wields that sword, he's not just fighting enemies, he's fighting for something greater, something noble. It's a symbol that speaks to the heart of the series, to the idea of courage and sacrifice. And what about the characters? Link, Zelda, and Ganon, they're not just individuals, they're archetypes. Link is the hero, the brave adventurer who answers the call. Zelda is the wise and compassionate leader, the guiding light. Ganon is the embodiment of evil, the shadow that lurks in the darkness. They're characters that we see again and again, in different forms, in different worlds, but always with the same essence, the same spirit. The series also plays with the theme of time, of cycles, of destiny. There's the idea of the hero's journey, the quest that repeats across generations. There's the concept of time travel, of alternate realities, of worlds that exist side by side. It's a theme that adds depth and complexity to the story, that invites you to think about fate and free will, about the nature of time itself. And let's not forget the music, the beautiful melodies that become part of the adventure. From the haunting notes of the Song of Time to the lively tunes of the Wind Waker, the music is a character in itself, a voice that tells the story, that sets the mood, that brings the world to life. These themes, symbols, and motifs are the threads that weave the tapestry of the Legend of Zelda. They're the elements that give the series its identity, its soul. They're the keys that unlock the magic, the mystery, the wonder of the world of Hyrule. So next time you play a Zelda game, take a moment to look beyond the action, beyond the puzzles, beyond the adventure. Look at the symbols, listen to the themes, feel the motifs. They're the heartbeat of the series, the echoes of a legend that's always unfolding, always revealing new layers, new meanings. In the world of The Legend of Zelda, nothing is just what it seems. Everything is a symbol, a metaphor, a clue to something deeper, something timeless. It's a world that invites you to explore, to question, to dream. It's a world that's rich and profound, a world that's waiting for you to discover its secrets. The legend is alive, and it's speaking to you, if you only take the time to listen. Music and sound in the Legend of Zelda series aren't just background elements, they're characters in their own right, 
playing a vital role in building the world of Hyrule. It's like stepping into a symphony where every note tells a story, every chord paints a picture. Imagine walking through the lost woods and the eerie melody that plays as you wander through the maze of trees. It's not just music, it's a guide, a riddle, a voice that whispers secrets in your ear. It's a sound that gets under your skin that makes you feel lost and found at the same time. Or think about the iconic theme of the series, that triumphant tune that plays when you start a new adventure. It's not just a catchy melody, it's a call to action, a fanfare that announces the beginning of a journey. It's a sound that fills you with excitement, with anticipation, with a sense of destiny. And then there's the music of the dungeons, the puzzles, the battles. It's music that sets the pace, that creates tension, that adds drama to every challenge. It's music that makes your heart race, that makes your palms sweat, that makes you feel the thrill of the game. But it's not just about the big moments, it's about the subtle touches, the little details that make the world come alive. The sound of the wind in the trees, the splash of the water, the chirping of the birds. It's the ambient noise that makes you feel like you're really there, like you're part of the world, like you're living the legend. And let's not forget the interactive aspect of the music, the way it responds to your actions, the way it changes as you play. It's like a dance between you and the game, a conversation, a relationship. It's music that listens to you, that reacts to you, that becomes part of your experience. The role of music and sound in The Legend of Zelda is a masterclass in storytelling, in world-building, in emotional engagement. It's a symphony that plays in harmony with the visuals, the gameplay, the narrative. It's a sound that resonates with your soul, that speaks to your imagination, that takes you on a journey beyond the screen. Take a moment to close your eyes and just listen. Listen to the music, to the sound, to the voice of Hyrule. Feel the rhythm, the melody, the harmony. Let the sound take you on a journey, let it tell you a story, let it transport you to a world of magic and mystery. In the world of The Legend of Zelda, music and sound are not just entertainment, they're art, they're poetry, they're magic. They're the heartbeat of the game, the soul of the adventure, the essence of the legend. They're a gift, a treasure, a legacy that's waiting for you to discover, to explore, to enjoy. The music of Hyrule is calling, and all you have to do is listen. The development processes behind the Legend of Zelda series are as intricate and fascinating as the games themselves. It's like peeling back the layers of a complex puzzle, revealing the creativity, the innovation, the sheer hard work that goes into crafting these masterpieces. Take, for example, the development of Ocarina of Time. It was a game that pushed the boundaries of what was possible on the Nintendo 64, a game that required new ways of thinking, new ways of working. The team had to invent new tools, new techniques, new algorithms to bring the world of Hyrule to life in 3D. They had to experiment with camera angles, with controls, with physics, to create a gameplay experience that was immersive, intuitive, revolutionary. Or consider the development of Breath of the Wild, a game that redefined the open-world genre, a game that challenged the conventions of the series. The developers had to rethink everything, from the structure of the game to the behavior of the enemies to the physics of the world. They had to create a world that was dynamic, that was responsive, that was alive. They had to find a balance between freedom and guidance, between exploration and storytelling, between tradition and innovation. And then there's the collaboration, the teamwork, the synergy that goes into making these games. It's not just about programmers and designers, it's about artists, musicians, writers, testers, all working together, all contributing their unique skills, their unique perspectives. It's about brainstorming sessions, about late-night coding marathons, about heated debates, about breakthrough moments. It's about passion, about dedication, about a shared vision, a shared dream. The development processes of The Legend of Zelda are a testament to the art of game making, to the science of game design, to the craft of storytelling. It's a process that's both methodical and creative, both structured and spontaneous, both disciplined and playful. It's a process that requires both logic and intuition, both analysis and imagination, both rigor and flexibility. It's a process that's full of challenges, full of obstacles, full of risks. There are technical challenges, artistic challenges, narrative challenges. There are deadlines, budgets, expectations. There are moments of doubt, moments of frustration, moments of exhaustion. But there are also moments of inspiration, moments of discovery, moments of joy. There are moments when everything clicks, when everything flows, when everything comes together and the magic happens. The development processes of The Legend of Zelda are a journey, a quest, an adventure in themselves. It's a journey that takes you behind the scenes, that shows you the heart and soul of the games, that gives you a glimpse into the minds of the creators. It's a journey that's full of surprises, full of insights, full of lessons. In the world of game development, 
There's no map, no guidebook, no formula. There's only creativity, innovation, collaboration, perseverance. There's only the quest for excellence, the pursuit of perfection, the passion for the game. The development processes of The Legend of Zelda are a story, a saga, a legend in themselves. It's a story that's still being written, still being played, still being lived. It's a story that's waiting for you to explore, to experience, to enjoy. It's a story that's part of the legacy, part of the magic, part of the Legend of Zelda. The challenges faced during the development of the Legend of Zelda series could fill a book, or perhaps even a trilogy. Technical limitations, creative decisions, they've seen it all and then some. Picture this, you're working on the original The Legend of Zelda for the NES, and you've got this grand vision of a vast, open world. But the hardware is looking at you like, you want to do what now? It's like trying to build a castle with a handful of Lego bricks. But somehow, they did it, turning those 8-bit limitations into an art form. And don't even get me started on the water temple in Ocarina of Time. That place was like a Rubik's Cube designed by a madman. Players were tearing their hair out, and the developers were probably doing the same. It's a classic example of a creative challenge turning into a legendary gaming moment infuriating. Yes, memorable. Absolutely. Then there's the decision to go with cell-shaded graphics in Wind Waker. Talk about a curvy ball. Fans were expecting something gritty, something realistic, and instead, they got a cartoon. The uproar was like a storm at sea, but the developers held their course and now Wind Waker is hailed as a visual masterpiece. It's a lesson in sticking to your creative guns, even when the fans are ready to mutiny. And let's not forget the pressure of living up to the Zelda name. Every new installment is like stepping into the Hero of Time's boots. The expectations are sky-high, the scrutiny is intense, and the fear of disappointing the fans must be like a constant shadow. But time and again, they rise to the occasion, turning those challenges into triumphs, those obstacles into stepping stones. In the world of game development, The Legend of Zelda is like a masterclass in turning lemons into lemonade. Technical limitations become opportunities for innovation. Creative decisions become defining moments. Pressure becomes motivation. Challenges become victories. It's a dance, a balancing act, a never-ending quest for perfection. It's a testament to the creativity, the passion, the sheer determination of the people behind the scenes. It's a reminder that greatness doesn't come easy, that legends aren't born, they're made. The next time you find yourself lost in a dungeon or battling a boss, take a moment to appreciate the battles fought behind the scenes. The challenges faced during the development of The Legend of Zelda are as epic, as thrilling, as inspiring as the games themselves. It's a saga of creativity, a tale of perseverance, a story of legend. The Legend of Zelda series isn't just a collection of games, it's a symphony of creativity, a tapestry of talent, a collaboration of some of the most brilliant minds in the industry. Let's take a moment to shine a spotlight on some of the key figures who've made Hyrule come to life. First and foremost, there's Shaijiro Miyamoto, the visionary creator of the series. This man's imagination is like a wellspring of wonder, a fountain of fantasy. He's the one who gave us Link, Zelda, Ganon, and the magical world they inhabit. His influence on the gaming world is as profound as the Master Sword's place in Hyrule's history. Then there's Iji Aonuma, the series producer and director who's been steering the ship since Ocarina of Time. He's like the Gandalf of game development, guiding the series through uncharted waters, leading it to new horizons. His ability to balance innovation with tradition, to blend the old with the new, is a masterstroke of creative leadership. And who could forget Koji Kondo, the composer whose music has become the heartbeat of Hyrule. His melodies are as iconic as the Triforce itself. From the triumphant overworld theme to the haunting song of storms, his compositions are the soul of the series. They're the notes that make the narrative sing, the chords that make the characters dance. But it's not just the big names that deserve applause. It's the designers who craft the dungeons, the artists who paint the landscapes, the writers who pen the stories. It's the programmers who code the magic, the testers who find the flaws, the marketers who spread the word. It's the unsung heroes, the behind-the-scenes warriors, the everyday legends. The Legend of Zelda series is like a puzzle, a mosaic, a jigsaw. Every piece matters, every part plays a role, every individual adds value. It's a collective effort, a team triumph, a group achievement. These are the people who've given us the joy of exploration, the thrill of adventure, the pleasure of puzzle solving. These are the people who've turned pixels into poetry, code into art, games into experiences. They're the wizards behind the curtain, the chefs in the kitchen, the architects of our dreams. They're the ones who make us believe in fairy tales, who make us feel like heroes, who make us fall in love with the virtual world. The Legend of Zelda series is a testament to human creativity, to collaborative genius, to the power of passion and perseverance. It's a celebration of the people who dare to dream, who dare to create, who dare to be legendary. It's a tribute to the minds that make the magic, the hearts that beat the rhythm, the souls that breathe the life.
and as we explore the lands of Hyrule, as we embark on our virtual quests, let's take a moment to salute these real-life heroes, these flesh-and-blood legends. Let's take a moment to say thank you, to say bravo, to say, well done, well played, well lived. Because without them, there would be no legend, no Zelda, no us. Ah, the drama and controversies. Even a series as beloved as The Legend of Zelda isn't immune to a bit of scandal and debate. It's like a spicy side dish to the main course of gaming goodness, adding a touch of intrigue and a dash of debate. Remember the infamous water temple in Ocarina of Time? Of course, you do. It's like a rite of passage for gamers, a trial by water, if you will. The frustration, the confusion, the endless backtracking, it was enough to make even the most seasoned adventurer throw their controller in despair. It became a symbol of level design gone awry, a cautionary tale of complexity run amok. And yet, it's also become a beloved challenge, a badge of honor for those who conquered it. It's a controversy that's aged like fine wine, turning sour grapes into a vintage experience. Then there's the art style of Wind Waker. When it was first revealed, the cel-shaded graphics were like a bombshell, a shock to the system. Fans were expecting something dark and gritty, and instead, they got something bright and cartoony. The backlash was swift and fierce, like a tempest in a teapot. But over time, opinions shifted, perceptions changed, and Wind Waker is now hailed as a visual masterpiece. It's a lesson in not judging a book by its cover or a game by its graphics. And who could forget the Triforce quest in the same game? That fetch quest near the end of Wind Waker that had players sailing all over the map, searching for shards, translating charts, and generally pulling their hair out. It was like a wild goose chase with a golden goose at the end. Fans cried foul, critics called it padding, and the developers eventually admitted that it was a rushed solution to a development crunch. It's a blemish on an otherwise brilliant game, a wrinkle in an otherwise smooth sail. The localization of the games has also sparked its share of debates. Changes in dialogue, alterations in content, differences in cultural context, all these have led to discussions, disagreements, and even a few conspiracy theories. It's like a game of telephone, where the message gets lost, twisted, or altered along the way. It's a reminder that translation is an art, not a science, and that cultural sensitivity is a tightrope walk, not a cakewalk. And let's not overlook the timeline. Oh, the timeline. It's like a puzzle wrapped in an enigma, sprinkled with a mystery. Fans have spent years, decades even, trying to piece together the chronology of the games to fit the pieces into a coherent whole. Theories have been built, debates have been waged, friendships have been tested. And when Nintendo finally released an official timeline, it was like opening Pandora's box, unleashing a whole new wave of discussions, disputes, and delightful chaos. These controversies and dramas are like the plot twists in a good novel, the cliffhangers in a binge-worthy show. They add flavor, depth, and dimension to the series. They spark conversations, fuel debates, and foster a sense of community. They remind us that games are more than just entertainment, they're a cultural phenomenon, a social experience, a shared journey. They remind us that even in a virtual world, there are real emotions, real opinions, real stakes. So the next time you find yourself embroiled in a Zelda controversy, whether it's about a dungeon, a design choice, or a timeline theory, take a moment to savor the drama, to enjoy the debate, to appreciate the passion. Because these dramas and controversies are part of what makes The Legend of Zelda legendary. They're the salt to the sweetness, the shadow to the light, the challenge to the triumph. They're a reminder that even in a land of fantasy, reality has a way of creeping in, of adding texture, of making things interesting. They're a reminder that even in a game, life finds a way. Even a series as beloved as The Legend of Zelda isn't immune to a bit of scandal and debate. It's like a spicy side dish to the main course of gaming goodness, adding a touch of intrigue and a dash of debate. Remember the infamous water temple in Ocarina of Time? Of course, you do. It's like a rite of passage for gamers, a trial by water, if you will. The frustration, the confusion, the endless backtracking, it was enough to make even the most seasoned adventurer throw their controller in despair. It became a symbol of level design gone awry, a cautionary tale of complexity run amok. And yet, it's also become a beloved challenge, a badge of honor for those who conquered it. It's a controversy that's aged like fine wine, turning sour grapes into a vintage experience. Then there's the art style of Wind Waker. When it was first revealed, the cel-shaded graphics were like a bombshell, a shock to the system. Fans were expecting something dark and gritty, and instead, they got something bright and cartoony. The backlash was swift and fierce, like a tempest in a teapot. But over time, opinions shifted, perceptions changed, and Wind Waker is now hailed as a visual masterpiece. It's a lesson in not judging a book by its cover or a game by its graphics. And who could forget the Triforce quest in the same game? 
that fetch quest near the end of Wind Waker that had players sailing all over the map, searching for shards, translating charts, and generally pulling their hair out. It was like a wild goose chase with a golden goose at the end. Fans cried foul, critics called it padding, and the developers eventually admitted that it was a rushed solution to a development crunch. It's a blemish on an otherwise brilliant game, a wrinkle in an otherwise smooth sail. The localization of the games has also sparked its share of debates. Changes in dialogue, alterations in content, differences in cultural context, all these have led to discussions, disagreements, and even a few conspiracy theories. It's like a game of telephone, where the message gets lost, twisted, or altered along the way. It's a reminder that translation is an art, not a science, and that cultural sensitivity is a tightrope walk, not a cakewalk. And let's not overlook the timeline. Oh, the timeline. It's like a puzzle wrapped in an enigma, sprinkled with a mystery. Fans have spent years, decades even, trying to piece together the chronology of the games to fit the pieces into a coherent whole. Theories have been built, debates have been waged, friendships have been tested. And when Nintendo finally released an official timeline, it was like opening Pandora's box, unleashing a whole new wave of discussions, disputes, and delightful chaos. These controversies and dramas are like the plot twists in a good novel, the cliffhangers in a binge-worthy show. They add flavor, depth, and dimension to the series. They spark conversations, fuel debates, and foster a sense of community. They remind us that games are more than just entertainment, they're a cultural phenomenon, a social experience, a shared journey. They remind us that even in a virtual world, there are real emotions, real opinions, real stakes. Should you ever find yourself embroiled in a Zelda controversy, likely as that may be, whether it's about a dungeon, a design choice, or a timeline theory, take a moment to savor the drama, to enjoy the debate, to appreciate the passion. Because these dramas and controversies are part of what makes the legend of Zelda legendary. They're the salt to the sweetness, the shadow to the light, the challenge to the triumph. They're a reminder that even in a land of fantasy, reality has a way of creeping in, of adding texture, of making things interesting. They're a reminder that even in a game, life finds a way. The Legend of Zelda series has seen its fair share of artistic experimentation, gameplay evolution, and development delays. And with each change, each shift, each postponement, the fans have reacted with a mix of emotions, a blend of opinions, a cocktail of responses. Let's talk about the art styles first. From the pixelated charm of the original to the cel-shaded whimsy of Wind Waker, from the dark realism of Twilight Princess to the watercolor beauty of Skyward Sword, the series has never been afraid to play with visuals, to toy with aesthetics, to dance with design. And each time, the fans have responded with a chorus of cheers and jeers, a symphony of love and hate. Some have embraced the innovation, hailed the creativity, celebrated the diversity. Others have resisted the change, lamented the departure, mourned the loss of tradition. It's a debate that's as colorful as the games themselves, a conversation that's as vibrant as the visuals. Now, let's move on to the gameplay changes. Oh boy, where to start? From the introduction of 3D in Ocarina of Time to the motion controls of Skyward Sword, from the open-world exploration of Breath of the Wild to the time manipulation of Majora's Mask, the series has been a playground of gameplay, a laboratory of mechanics, a theater of innovation. And each time, the fans have reacted with curiosity, excitement, skepticism, and sometimes even frustration. Some have welcomed the new challenges, embraced the new mechanics, applauded the new directions. Others have questioned the choices, critiqued the execution, clung to the old ways. It's a dialogue that's as dynamic as the gameplay itself, a discussion that's as fluid as the mechanics. And then there are the delays. Ah, the delays. They're like the rain on a parade, the clouds on a sunny day, the wait for a long-anticipated meal. From the postponement of Twilight Princess to the multiple delays of Breath of the Wild, the series has tested the patience of fans, stretched the limits of anticipation, played the game of waiting. And each time, the fans have reacted with understanding, disappointment, anxiety, and sometimes even anger. Some have seen the delays as a sign of commitment to quality, a promise of perfection, a pledge to excellence. Others have seen them as a breach of trust, a break of promise, a betrayal of expectation. It's a tension that's as real as the games themselves, a sentiment that's as palpable as the passion. These reactions to art styles, gameplay changes, and delays are like the heartbeat of the fanbase, the pulse of the community, the rhythm of the relationship. They're a testament to the investment of the players, the engagement of the audience, the connection between creators and consumers. They're a reminder that games are not just products, they're experiences, journeys, adventures. They're a reminder that fans are not just consumers, they're participants, collaborators, co-creators. They're a reminder that the Legend of Zelda series is not just a collection of games, it's a living, breathing, evolving entity. It's a world that's shaped by its creators and its players, its past and its present, its triumphs and its trials. 
And as we look forward to the future, as we anticipate the next chapter, the next innovation, the next delay, let's take a moment to appreciate the richness of this relationship, the complexity of this conversation, the beauty of this dance. Because it's this dance, this dialogue, this dynamic that makes The Legend of Zelda more than a game. It makes it a legend, a legacy, a life. Localizing a game like The Legend of Zelda is no simple task. It's not just about translating words, it's about translating cultures, contexts, and concepts. It's about taking a world that's been crafted with care, shaped with specificity, and imbued with identity, and then recreating it in a way that resonates with a different audience, that speaks to a different culture, that feels at home in a different context. Imagine you're an artist who's painted a beautiful landscape, a scene that's filled with local flora, native wildlife, and regional architecture. Now, imagine you have to repaint that scene for an audience on the other side of the world, an audience that's unfamiliar with those plants, those animals, those buildings. How do you retain the essence of the original while making it relevant to the new audience? How do you preserve the soul of the scene while adapting it to a different setting? That's the challenge of localizing The Legend of Zelda. Take the humor, for example. The series is known for its quirky characters, witty dialogues, and playful interactions. But humor is a tricky thing, it's often rooted in language, culture, and context. A joke that lands in Japan might fall flat in America. A pun that's funny in English might be meaningless in French. A gag that's hilarious in one context might be offensive in another. So, the localizers have to be comedians, linguists, and cultural experts all in one. They have to understand the humor of the original, the nuances of the language, and the sensitivities of the culture. They have to craft jokes that are true to the spirit of the game but tailored to the taste of the audience. Then there's the mythology. The Zelda series is steeped in myth, legend, and folklore. It draws from various traditions, borrows from various cultures, and blends various motifs. But myths, legends, and folklore are not universal, they're specific to regions, tied to cultures, linked to identities. So, the localizers have to be mythologists, historians, and anthropologists, all in one. They have to understand the myths of the original, the history of the region, and the anthropology of the culture. They have to weave stories that are faithful to the fabric of the game but fitted to the texture of the audience. And then there's the gameplay. The Zelda series is known for its intricate puzzles, complex mechanics, and interactive environments. But gameplay is not immune to localization, it's influenced by conventions, expectations, and preferences. A puzzle that's intuitive in one region might be confusing in another. A mechanic that's engaging in one culture might be frustrating in another. An interaction that's enjoyable in one context might be tedious in another. So, the localizers have to be designers, psychologists, and gamers all in one. They have to understand the design of the original, the psychology of the player, and the gaming culture of the region. They have to create experiences that are consistent with the core of the game but customized to the character of the audience. Localizing The Legend of Zelda is like retelling a beloved story to a new friend, a friend who speaks a different language, comes from a different culture, and has a different perspective. It's a delicate dance of fidelity and flexibility, authenticity and adaptability, integrity and ingenuity. It's a dance that's as complex as the games themselves, as intricate as the worlds they create, as beautiful as the stories they tell. And it's a dance that's worth every step, every twirl, every leap. Because it's this dance that brings the legend of Zelda to life for players around the world. It's this dance that makes the legend a legend, not just in one land, but in many. It's this dance that turns a game into a global phenomenon, a cultural icon, a universal adventure. And as we play, as we explore, as we discover, let's take a moment to appreciate the artistry of this dance, the mastery of this craft, the magic of this connection. Because it's this connection that makes the legend of Zelda more than a game. It makes it a bridge, a bond, a brotherhood. And that, my friends, is a legend worth celebrating, a legacy worth cherishing, a life worth living. The Legend of Zelda isn't just a game series, it's a cultural phenomenon. It's transcended the boundaries of the gaming world to become a part of our collective consciousness, a symbol of our shared experiences, a touchstone of our common creativity. Let's start with the merchandise. Walk into any gaming store, and you'll likely find a treasure trove of Zelda goodies. From t-shirts adorned with the Triforce to mugs shaped like Link's shield, from keychains featuring iconic characters to posters showcasing breathtaking landscapes, the series has inspired a plethora of products that allow fans to wear their love for the game on their sleeves, literally. 
but it's not just about the official merchandise, it's about the fan creations too. The Zelda community is teeming with talented artists, crafters, and creators who have taken their passion for the series and turned it into something tangible, something beautiful, something unique. From hand-painted canvases that capture the magic of Hyrule to handcrafted jewelry that embodies the elegance of the elves. From custom-made costumes that bring the characters to life to fan-made music that reimagines the melodies of the game, the series has sparked a creative revolution that's as diverse as it is delightful. And it's not just about the tangible creations, it's about the intangible connections too. The series has given rise to fan clubs, fan sites, fan forums, fan conventions, fan collaborations, fan friendships. It's fostered a sense of community, a sense of belonging, a sense of identity. It's created a space where fans can come together, share their thoughts, express their feelings, celebrate their victories, commiserate their defeats, support each other, inspire each other, understand each other. It's created a world where fans can be themselves, be with others, be a part of something bigger, something special, something meaningful. The series has influenced a generation of game developers, storytellers, designers, composers, animators. It set a standard for excellence, a benchmark for innovation, a model for creativity. It's shown what's possible when you dare to dream, when you strive to excel, when you push the boundaries, when you break the rules, when you follow your heart, when you trust your instincts, when you embrace your vision, when you honor your craft. It's shown that games can be art, that art can be games, that both can be more, that both can be transcendent, transformative, transcultural. The series has left its mark on movies, TV shows, comics, novels, music, theater. It's inspired filmmakers to explore new narratives, writers to pen new tales, musicians to compose new tunes, actors to portray new roles, directors to envision new scenes, producers to pursue new projects. It's inspired a cross-pollination of ideas, a fusion of genres, a blending of styles, a merging of mediums, a meeting of minds, a mingling of souls. The series has become a part of our daily lives, our social conversations, our cultural references, our personal memories, our collective imaginations. It's become a way to connect with friends, bond with family, engage with strangers, relate to others, reflect on ourselves, escape from reality, return to innocence, revel in nostalgia, reach for the future. The Legend of Zelda is more than a game, it's a gateway. A gateway to adventure, to discovery, to creativity, to community, to inspiration, to influence, to impact. It's a gateway to a world that's as wondrous as it is wide, as enchanting as it is enduring, as fantastical as it is familiar. A gateway to a legend that's not just told but lived, not just played but experienced, not just seen but felt, not just heard but resonated. And as we stand at this gateway, as we look back at the journey, as we look forward to the horizon, let's take a moment to marvel at the magic, to appreciate the artistry, to celebrate the creativity, to acknowledge the community, to recognize the relevance, to honor the heritage, to cherish the legacy, to embrace the legend. Because it's this legend that makes the legend of Zelda more than a game. It makes it a part of who we are, a reflection of what we love, a manifestation of what we believe, a celebration of what we create, a connection to what we share, a testament to what we achieve. The Legend of Zelda series has been a trailblazer in the gaming industry, setting standards and influencing the direction of not only the action-adventure genre but gaming as a whole. Its impact can be felt in various facets of game design and player experience. In the action-adventure genre, Zelda introduced groundbreaking mechanics that have become staples. From the non-linear exploration of vast open worlds to intricate puzzles and engaging combat, the series has shaped the genre's identity. It's like a master painter who's laid down the essential strokes that others follow, adding their unique touches but always acknowledging the original masterpiece. The series' influence extends beyond its genre, inspiring game developers across different categories. The open world design has been adopted by RPGs, while the storytelling techniques have found their way into narrative-driven games. It's like a musical composition that resonates across different instruments, each playing a different tune but all harmonizing with the original melody. The impact on gamers has been equally profound. Zelda has fostered a sense of exploration, creativity, and challenge. It's like a mentor guiding players to think, adapt, and grow, nurturing a mindset that transcends the game itself. The community around Zelda is a testament to its cultural significance. From fan art to cosplaying, from online forums to real-world conventions, the series has united people from diverse backgrounds. It's like a universal language that speaks to the hearts of gamers, creating bonds that go beyond pixels and polygons. Finally, the legacy of Zelda is one of enduring excellence. It's not just a series of games but a cultural phenomenon that continues to inspire, entertain, and innovate. It's like a timeless novel that's read and reread, each time revealing something new, each time reaffirming its place in the pantheon of greatness. In the grand tapestry of gaming, 
The Legend of Zelda is a vibrant thread that weaves through the fabric, connecting past and present, influencing form and function, enriching culture and community. It's not just a game, it's a living legend, a symbol of what gaming can be, a testament to the art of interactive storytelling. And as we continue to play, explore, and discover, we're not just following a path laid down by a game, we're part of a journey that's shaped by a legend. A legend that's not confined to the screen but lives in our minds, our hearts, our very souls. That's the true impact of The Legend of Zelda. That's the true essence of a legend. The community around The Legend of Zelda is more than just a group of fans, it's a thriving ecosystem that celebrates, analyzes, and even contributes to the series. This community's dedication is manifested in various ways, from fan events and conventions to online forums and fan creations. Fan events and conventions are where the magic of Zelda comes to life. Imagine walking into a room filled with fellow enthusiasts, all wearing the iconic green tunics, wielding master swords, or donning the masks of various characters from the series. These gatherings are a place where fans can connect, share their passion, and immerse themselves in the world of Hyrule. It's like stepping into a parallel universe where the lines between game and reality blur. These conventions often feature panels with developers, artists, and other key figures from the series, providing fans with a unique opportunity to gain insights, ask questions, and even influence future games. It's a dialogue between creators and consumers, a synergy that fuels the series' continued success. The dedicated community also thrives online. From forums and social media groups to YouTube channels and podcasts, fans dissect every aspect of the games, share strategies, theories, and artwork. It's a virtual Hyrule where fans can engage 24-7, a place where the game never really ends. Fan creations are another testament to the community's dedication. From fan fiction and art to music covers and even fan-made games, the creativity knows no bounds. It's like the series has become a canvas for fans to express themselves, a muse that inspires them to create and contribute. The community's impact goes beyond mere fandom. Charitable events like Zeldathan have raised significant funds for various causes, turning the love for a game into a force for good. It's a reminder that a community united by a shared passion can make a real difference in the world. In the end, the community around the Legend of Zelda is not just about playing a game, it's about being part of a legend. It's about connecting with others who share the same love and excitement. It's about contributing to something bigger than oneself. It's like being part of a family, a tribe, a movement. It's a celebration of what it means to be a gamer, a fan, a human. It's a testament to the power of a game to transcend pixels and polygons and touch the very core of our being. So whether you're a veteran who's traversed the lands of Hyrule since the beginning or a newcomer just starting your adventure, know that you're not alone. You're part of a community, a legend, a story that continues to unfold. And as you explore, conquer, and celebrate, remember that you're not just playing a game, you're living a legend. And that's a journey worth taking, a journey that never truly ends. The future of The Legend of Zelda is a tantalizing mystery that has fans speculating and dreaming about what might come next. With the release of Tears of the Kingdom in 2023, the series has once again captured the imagination of gamers around the world. But what does the future hold? Let's dive into some of the most intriguing fan theories and speculations. Imagine Link as the true villain. Some fans argue that Hyrule's best days are when Link is not around and they see him as a curse. Could a future game explore this darker side of our hero? Now, that would be a twist. Or how about Ganondorf as a tragic anti-hero? The portrayal of Ganondorf as a tragic figure in The Wind Waker has led to debates about his true nature. Could we see a game that delves into his backstory and motivations? It's a thought that's been floating around, and it's one that could add depth to a character we thought we knew. And then there's the timeline. The timeline of The Legend of Zelda is a living, fluid thing. Fans believe that future games might continue to rearrange the chronology, adding new twists to the lore. It's like a puzzle that keeps getting more complex. Have you heard of the Tetraforce theory? The idea of a missing piece within the Triforce has fascinated fans for years. Could a future game explore this concept and reveal new secrets about the series' central symbol? It's a theory that's been around for a while, and it's one that could add a new layer to the series. And what about the connection to the Zanai from Breath of the Wild? Fans have speculated about a connection to the extinct Zanai people. Could this be a central theme in a future installment? It's a mystery that's been begging to be explored. Some believe that the Korok Forest has been destroyed. Could this be a plot point in a future game, leading to new adventures and challenges? It's a thought that could take the series in a new direction. The idea of a time loop within the larger Zelda timeline has been theorized. Could this concept be explored further in a future game, adding new layers to the series' complex narrative? 
It's like Groundhog Day but with swords and shields. A Reddit user speculated about a space-time control mechanic in the next game. Imagine playing with time and altering the map, uncovering secrets, and exploring in a whole new way. It's like taking the puzzles to the next level. The goddess Hylia's involvement in the next game has been theorized. Could she play a central role, adding new dimensions to the series' mythology? It's a thought that could bring the divine into the mix. Fans have pointed to evidence of an underworld and tears of the kingdom and the possibility of restoring the Master Sword. Could these be central themes in a future game? It's like digging deeper into the legend itself. The anticipation for the future of the Legend of Zelda is palpable. These theories and speculations reflect the deep engagement of fans with the series' lore and their eagerness to see where the franchise might go next. Whether any of these ideas will come to fruition remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, the future of The Legend of Zelda is bright and fans can look forward to many more adventures in the land of Hyrule. The next game could be anything from a continuation of the current storyline to a complete reimagining of the series. Whatever it is, it's sure to be a thrilling ride. The Legend of Zelda series has always been a treasure trove of innovation, creativity, and excitement. But what's next for this beloved franchise? Fans are abuzz with anticipation, and there's no shortage of speculation and theories about what the future holds. One of the most exciting prospects on the horizon is the reported green lighting of a Legend of Zelda movie. Following the massive success of the Super Mario Bros. movie, reports have emerged suggesting that Universal and Illumination are currently engaged in negotiations to bring the Legend of Zelda to the big screen. Building on the success of the Super Mario Bros. movie, the studios are actively collaborating with Nintendo to kickstart the development of a feature film centered around the video game franchise. This project, if it goes through, would mark a significant milestone for Illumination and could position it as a major player in the realm of video game adaptations. The rumors of a Legend of Zelda movie gained traction after being discussed on a recent episode of The Hot Mic with Jeff Snader and John Rocha. It's believed that the success of the Super Mario Bros. movie, which became one of the highest-grossing movies of all time with revenue exceeding $1.3 billion, has boosted the chances for a Zelda adaptation. The remarkable achievements of the Super Mario film have sparked interest in further expanding the cinematic universe of Nintendo's iconic properties, with The Legend of Zelda being a prime candidate for movie treatment. Of course, not all projects see the light of day. In 2015, rumors circulated about a live-action television series based on The Legend of Zelda, which was reportedly in the works at Netflix. However, Nintendo made the decision to halt the production after details of the series were leaked to the press. The entire program to adapt these things was pulled, shedding light on the circumstances surrounding the cancelled ventures. The future of The Legend of Zelda is filled with potential, and fans are eagerly awaiting what's next. Whether it's a blockbuster movie, a new game, or other creative endeavors, the series continues to captivate audiences and push the boundaries of entertainment. The anticipation is palpable, and the excitement is real. The Legend of Zelda is not just a game, it's a cultural phenomenon that continues to evolve, inspire, and entertain. And as we look to the future, one thing is certain, the legend will continue to grow. The Legend of Zelda is more than just a series of video games, it's a cultural touchstone that has transcended its medium to become a part of our collective consciousness. From its humble beginnings on the NES to its latest groundbreaking installment, Tears of the Kingdom, the series has consistently pushed the boundaries of what's possible in gaming, storytelling, and art. But what makes The Legend of Zelda so enduring? Why, after more than three decades, does it continue to captivate audiences, inspire creators, and drive innovation in the industry? Perhaps it's the timeless appeal of its core narrative. The battle between good and evil, the hero's journey, the quest for wisdom, courage, and power, these are themes that resonate deeply with us all. They're universal, yet uniquely expressed in the world of Hyrule, where each new game offers a fresh take on these age-old stories. Or maybe it's the way the series has continually evolved while staying true to its roots. Each new installment builds on the successes of its predecessors, introducing new gameplay mechanics, richer narratives, and more immersive worlds, all while maintaining the essence of what makes Zelda, well, Zelda. It's a delicate balance, but one that has been masterfully achieved time and again. The community around The Legend of Zelda is another key to its continued relevance. From fan art and cosplay to speedruns and theory crafting, the passion and creativity of the Zelda community are second to none. This dedicated fanbase not only celebrates the series but also contributes to its growth, keeping it alive and vibrant. And let's not forget the impact of The Legend of Zelda on the broader gaming landscape. It's not an exaggeration to say that the series has shaped the action-adventure genre, 
influencing countless games and developers. The open world exploration, puzzle solving, and storytelling techniques pioneered by Zelda have become industry standards. Looking to the future, there's no reason to believe that the legend of Zelda will slow down. With new technologies, platforms, and creative possibilities on the horizon, the potential for growth is immense. Whether it's virtual reality, augmented reality, or something entirely new, you can bet that Zelda will be at the forefront, exploring new frontiers and continuing to redefine what's possible in gaming. In a world where franchises come and go, where trends rise and fall, The Legend of Zelda stands as a testament to the power of creativity, innovation, and storytelling. It's a series that has not only stood the test of time but has thrived, growing in complexity, depth, and influence. The Legend of Zelda is not just relevant, it's essential. And as we look to the future, with anticipation and excitement, we can be confident that the legend will continue to unfold, enchant, and inspire for generations to come. Well, dear listeners, we've come to the end of our journey through the mystical lands of Hyrule and what a journey it's been. From the inception of the series to the latest adventures and tears of the kingdom, we've explored the rich tapestry that makes The Legend of Zelda a true gaming legend. I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for joining me, Alex Integras, on this exploration. Your passion for gaming, your curiosity about the stories behind the games, and your love for the characters and worlds we've discussed are what make this podcast possible. It's been an absolute joy to share these insights, memories, and speculations with fellow fans. Whether you've been with the series since the beginning or you're just discovering the magic of Zelda, I hope this episode has brought you closer to the heart of what makes these games so special. The creativity, the innovation, the challenges, the triumphs, it's all part of a legacy that continues to grow and inspire. So, here's to you, the listeners, the gamers, the dreamers. Thank you for being a part of this adventure. May your hearts always be full, your arrows fly true, and may you never run out of bombs when you need them most. Until next time, keep exploring, keep playing, and keep believing in the power of the legend. But hold on, adventurers, our journey isn't over just yet. Next time on Generative History, we'll be stepping into a universe that's as vast as it is thrilling. A universe where space is the final frontier, where battles are fought among the stars, and where diplomacy can be as deadly as any laser cannon. Yes, we're setting our sights on the Mass Effect series. From the heroic exploits of Commander Shepard to the intricate web of relationships and choices that shape the galaxy, we'll explore everything that makes Mass Effect a standout in the world of gaming. We'll delve into the lore, the characters, the development, and of course, the choices that have kept players on the edge of their seats. So strap in, calibrate your weapons, and get ready to explore the Milky Way like never before. Join me, Alex Integras, as we navigate the mass relays and uncover the secrets of Mass Effect. See you in the next episode.